Oil YouTubers, Rob here. Um, so, second part of this uh, hop oil extract idea I had. Um, basically, I've got a guest in the studio, the cellar. This is Chris from uh, a couple of doors down. So come on, Chris, you can come into the shop now. Chris is a real Yorkshireman. Oh, yes. Yes, he says things like, I'll do and whatnot. <laughs> um, or maybe that's Lancashire, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, obviously, we've got the Yorkshire bitter, haven't we? We've got the Yorkshire water, we've got the Yorkshire grain, we've got the Yorkshireman to try it. And you tried it earlier, didn't you, with your little. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we had a sample it? earlier. A little sample. What did you think? Needs more hops. Needs more hops, Needs which is what I hops. thought, okay? And quite regularly, because you, you're a brewer. Yeah, yeah. Chris Brews. He's been um, brewing for about six, six months. months. Yeah. Six months. Got well carried away. Completely yeah. carried away. He's now, he started off obviously with a. Um, you know, one budget barrel. He's got a budget barrel, King Keg, Cornelius, Scholar Connectors, the gas. You've got two fermentation fridges. Yeah, yeah. He's made himself a bar. So he's <laughs> obviously got a hook, line and sinker addicted to this. And, yeah. and uh, yeah. your wife loves it. It's just the start. <laughs> just the start. It's just the start. So um, with that in mind, he knows what he's doing. So, yeah, we're, we're going to... You always ask me, don't you, because you um, kit brew. Yes. And you say to me, Rob, how do, I get, how do I get my IPAs more hoppy? Yes. And I always say, well, during the boil, Chris, or when at the end I of the boil, boil. And then you keep saying, I don't, I don't boil, because I do kits. And I'm like, well, I'm lost. I'm lost. So I'm thinking this method, regardless of whether you're a kit brewer or a grain brewer, is going to be a good one potentially to get more hops in there um, without having to worry about boiling. So the idea being we just get it straight out of the fermenter once it's done, taste it. And when it's hit final gravity, what does it taste like? It tastes alright, but I want mine some more hops. Fine. So at this point, we go and take it upstairs, as we've seen earlier, in a flask. Heat it up to about 64 degrees or less. Um, we don't want to ruin those hop oils that we're trying to so desperately get. And then cold crush it as fast as we can. And the idea is it extracts the oil and then it um, locks it in. Um, so that's the concept. And we've been working on this, or I've been working on this. So um, we'll come down here, I'll show you this. Dun, dun, dun. Right, so this is it. It's about a litre of fluid gone into th only 30 grams of um, first gold. It makes a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's a lot. Weighs a ton. So um, I'm expecting a lot of this beer actually to be absorbed by the um, leaves, which is going to be problematic. So we're not going to necessarily get back our full litre off the end at the end of this. Um, what we're going to do, I'll put it on pause. We'll, we'll find a more suitable position and then um, we'll start getting this poured through. Right, okay, so we're going to lift the lid off. There we go. Sludge. Yeah, it's still full of that sludge. Weetabix looking, isn't it? Like uh, when you've left it in all too long. to minimise splashing, so I'm not going to go straight into the middle, I'm going to aim to run it down the side of that. Okay. See what I mean? And hopefully just catch all the gunk without putting too much hair into it. Oh, actually this takes out a lot of the... Uh... That's alright, is not it? Not a single sign of a splash. It's a lemon in it as well. Really? Some little dried lemon pieces, yeah. Ooh. Oh, bit of stuff left over from the from the cook. It's what Ramblin' Man sent me. <laughs> he sent me some in a packet. He didn't know what to do with them, and I was delighted, so I put them in there. I don't think you got a litre out of that, did you? Nah. As long as I got flavour out of it, that's the, the main thing. We'll see, it's absorbed quite a lot there. Yeah, that's good, ain't it? That's that one. Oh, it smells swell. It smells really good. These aren't the most fresh of, of hops either. Again, I've just been on a bit of a use up of various hops now. It's not got any left. It's not even left to taste, Chris. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Oh dear. So, right, it's in. I hope that explains the technique. Um, if you leave it in too long, my worry was it would just become stale. And then you're adding, you know, stale aerated beer into fresh beer. So, um, obviously, 65 degrees is going to kill the yeast that's in it. Um, it's best to get it in there as fast as we can. It's literally been since this morning that that's been going on for. 
So will it add any flavour? Hard to tell. Wait and see I guess. Alright. Thanks YouTubers.